there. Yeah. Thank you, baby. You can have it closer to the thing. I don't know if that makes more of a Love you. Oh, it's been recording this whole time. What more? Hi guys, and welcome to my channel, The Daily Wine. This is my first ever daily wine, so today I'm going to be discussing my 2020 and trying this bottle of Sauvignon Blanc from M&S. Sauvignon Blanc is usually my favourite wine, so I should like it. Um, however, let's just see. Let's give it a go. Try again. Okay. It's not bad. Not the worst. It's very bitter, but I did have to add lemonade with it. I have to drink wine with lemonade. And we didn't have any lemonade, so we did have to use 7-Up, which is disgusting. So that may be on me. It smells nice, I think. Yeah, it smells really nice. I think I'm drinking it wrong. Oh, see, it's actually much better without the lemonade. Yeah, this is my fault. Be like that. It's a little bit bitter. Um, a little bit dry, I should say. Um, and, but it goes down quite smoothly. I would probably rate this wine... What, out of ten? Maybe like an eight and a half out of ten. I did really, really like it. I like stuff a lot sweeter, which is weird because I like Sauvignon. It's not usually that sweet. Um, but I do really, really like that and I will drink it, but probably without the lemonade slash 7-Up. Probably with lemonade, probably not with 7-Up because that is disgusting. But I'll drink it anyway. So, to discuss my 2020, as I'm sure you're all aware, 2020 for everyone has been... Oh my god, it's been so bad. Um, to start with lockdown happening, that was weird. Uh, oh, I've, oh, I've just got nothing to say. I can't believe that we're in the middle of a global pandemic, uh, but they're still sending people to work and stuff. I just don't get it. I understand, we've got to keep the economy going, blah, 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 blah. But it's just, to me, just the weirdest notion. I actually managed to get a birthday out of it, which I was quite happy about. I kept saying to Perry, I swear to God, if my birthday's ruined, I will just cry. Um, I cried anyway, but, you know, just for different reasons, as I always do. So, yeah, I kept saying to him, if my birthday's ruined, I will be very unhappy. Um, but luckily, I think the lockdown was eased like a week before my birthday. And then I was like, yes, let's actually go to the pub until 10pm. And, uh, and then came home. And that was it. But, oh no, my boyfriend set up for me a uh, set up uh, like a rave bouncy castle for me to have in his mum's garden because it was all eased a little bit by then. So me and his family and a couple of my friends, we all had like a little mini rave in a bouncy castle. It was absolutely amazing. That was one day of my birthday week. So yeah, that was really really fun. And that was probably the highlight of my 2020 to be fair, because the rest of it has been absolute crap. So my poor Nana, she's really poorly. Um, she's in hospital at the minute because uh, like the week before Christmas she had a fall um, for different different health reasons but she's ended up in hospital which has been horrible for her. So we didn't get to see her on Christmas which is the worst. It's Christmas is not the same without your Nana there. I know for many people it will have been the same whether that's because of health reasons or because you know because you don't want to risk them being around you at Christmas which is a perfectly safe option to do as well. So yeah uh, that's one of the many reasons it's been, it's been rubbish. The fact that we were in lockdown, and I love my flat, I do, but we live in a flat, so we were in lockdown all during the hottest days of the summer. We don't have a garden, so to sunbathe, I was literally going down and sitting on gravel in a car park. It's very, very sad. And there's this tiny square of sun that we get through the window in the, in the, um, in the flat, so we would just stand in the heat. Um, and pretend that we were on the beat. We went to go on holiday as well. That got cancelled <laughs> like two weeks before. We went to be going to Gran Canaria um, and that got cancelled. So yeah, that was also depressing. But luckily again, my boyfriend, very thoughtful. He made our own little holiday at home. He spent up hours and hours and hours of the night creating it. We had a little pool with sand and like decorations everywhere. He made it look like a Lineker's bar. Um, and got loads of alcohol in and cocktails and stuff. It was absolutely amazing. It was the best thing he's ever done. One of many though. So yeah, it's it's been up and down, I would say, but it's it's been 
a weird year. I've had a very like spoiled Christmas, but it's also obviously it's just not been the same. No Christmas will ever be the same until your full family is there. In my opinion, your Christmas. I just spilled the bottle of wine. Don't tell Barry. So yeah, Christmas is just not the same without without your family there. So that's that's just like been the low low point for me. Um, it's just not being able to see my family as much as I could. Obviously not being able to see them for all of lockdown. What, like six months I think I didn't see them or I'd come to the window and wave at them and that was about it. It's uh, It's been really, really hard not getting to give them a cuddle and stuff. So yeah, it's just been a tough year for everyone. I, I honestly can, can say I can't wait for 2020 to be over. I think I was talking to my mum about it. We're just going to pretend that 2020 didn't happen and next year I will have my 24th birthday again. And so this year of my life, I will just say didn't exist, which I think you can do. I'm sure there must be somewhere where you can legally change your date of birth. What? So the fact that like, uh, what was it? Like fossils from millions of years ago, they have decided to reawaken. Like, why would you do that? Why would you reawaken these worms that will undoubtedly kill us all? Have you not seen any films? Everything's been a little bit weird. Um, I've drunk more wine than I have ever drunk in my entire life. We're talking bottle a day, keeps the doctor away because you will die. I can't wait for 2021 and what 2021 has got to bring. I think I'm publishing this on New Year's Day, so happy New Year's everybody. I'll drink to that. I can't wait to start a new chapter. I know it's really cliche, but just to think about everything, I'm gonna have a proper like, you know, when you was younger, your family used to make you chuck clothes out or chuck things away when you was younger. On the 1st of Jan every day, you, what's it called? Spring clean! I'm actually going to do a spring clean this year. I'm going to chuck away a load of stuff. I'm going to chuck away anything that reminds me of 2020. So I might get rid of my whole wardrobe. I'm just going to think about how I can make this year a great year to make up for whatever else has happened. That is, if lockdown is easy this year, of course. It might not. So, yay. I'm also in tier four, so that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, tier four life where you can't do anything. Although it's not that different to tier three. And yeah, so yeah, 2020 has been a weird one. I, I don't know, uh, I think it's been the weirdest year of everyone's life. Uh, I will say one good thing that came out of 2020 is this face mask. Will remove for wine, because I will, but legally. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what my 2020 has been like. Reply in the comments below, let me know the high low highlights and low lights of highlights and lowlights reply in the comments below and let me know the highlights and lowlights of your 2020 um and if there was one thing you could change what would it be for me it would just be that my nana was safe and at home again um she's recovering okay in hospital it's just we can't go and visit her so it, it really sucks that's what i would change about 2020 the lockdown you know i can deal with it's just you know health is wealth is the thing that i've learned the most this year but that's pretty much it that's my 2020 summed up it's been weird it's been real uh, but yeah, peace and love guys. Keep it real. Keep it sim shading. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something to say that I say shine when I leave. I haven't quite come up with it yet based on the fact that I just say keep it sim shady. So yeah. See you later guys. Have a nice day. Oh, run out of battery.